hooked up. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, come on. Hooked up. What do we got? There we go. Let him take one. Hey guys, uh, sometimes when you show up to the boat ramp and you're like the first one on the water, uh, first thing that goes to my mind usually is, uh, oh boy, you know, early bird catches the worm. And then the second thing that goes to my mind is, man, what does everybody else know that I don't? Uh, so we're gonna go find out. Welcome to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. I'm Chris, we're gonna get in the water. The sun should be coming up here soon. So uh, let's go check it out. Well guys, we're out here getting an early start of the, the jetties out of here, Ponce Inlet. And uh, I got uh, a couple dozen shrimp and uh, a couple dozen uh, fiddler crabs. And we're looking for some sheep's head. See what we can find out here all by ourselves. <laughs> so I'm just starting off dro dropping a fish finder rig with the shrimp, just tail bit off uh, or pinched off and uh, like, a, like a two or three out circle hook. Oh, looked up. What do we got? Oh, little sheep's head. It's a little guy. Or not in the box. We're not keeping this guy. He's way too small. I don't know. He might be legal, but uh, I don't know if you've been watching the channel lately, but we've been kind of killing it on the sheep's head. So, uh, you know, unless I'm thinking if they're not at least like closer to like 15 inches, we're probably not going to keep. But this guy's only. Yeah, he's just over 12, so he's legal, but he's going back. Are we hooked up over here again? I think so. Yep. Come on, buddy. Another sheep's head. Oh, oh, this that might be that might he might keep. I don't know. He's it's gonna be borderline. You don't, you don't absolutely need bottom sweeper jigs or salt donkey jigs. That's two drops, two sheep's head, and just a few minutes. And this guy is, uh, oh, like 14 and three quarters. So I think we'll keep him. If Kim was here, she would say keep him. So we're gonna keep him. He's close to 15. I'll show you again real quick. I'm just pinching these tails off and then I'm shoving the hook through this last section and then back out so it gets a lot of meat to, to pull on so it's harder to just rip them off the hook. Oh, we got a big one over here. What the heck's going on? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Something big. Oh man. Got kind of a light hook on here, so. I'm gonna take it easy with him. What do we got? He didn't take off like a ray does, so I'm not thinking ray. Oh, come on. Come on, man. What are you doing, buddy? Come on, what do you got here? It's 
coming to the surface up there. What the heck? Oh man, I don't know if you saw. Oh man, it's an eagle ray. Oh, he's jumping. It's an eagle ray. Dang it. I've never caught one of these things before, but hopefully I can get the hook out. I'm tempted just to yank on it and try to just pull the hook. Man, this is it's crazy. These things are powerful. He's coming, he's swimming back this way. I did not want to tangle with this guy today. Oh, come loose. Ooh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. I was not expecting that. Just broke the hook, so he's okay. You know, easy release for him. He's safe. Wow, that was fun. That was my first Eagle Ray hookup. Spotted Eagle Ray. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll probably play some slow-mo of the, those jumps over there. Luckily, there's no other boats around because it gets kind of uh, tight around here. And man, it could have ran into somebody else's trolling motor or, or anchor line or something. So luckily, I got to fight him when nobody else was around. Um, comment below if you've ever hooked up on an Eagle Ray, spotted Eagle Ray. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you do, you know, hit that subscri sub subscribe button. I think it's like this way. And, uh, you know, join us in all our uh, fishing adventures. Thumbs up would be greatly appreciated too. Uh, Little mangrove. So I'm taking my line, going back. Oh. Yep. What do we got here? Well, that's a decent mangrove. Oh, was it? Not expecting that guy. That's a 12-inch mangrove. Usually, these are the size we like to keep, 12-inch. So we're gonna throw him in the box. If Kim knew I threw back a 12 inch uh, mangrove, I'd be in some trouble. So, gotta keep that one. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. I hooked up here and Captain Eric over there uh, got a little black margate here. But uh, Captain Eric, we dropped him down charters. He's got uh, some his clients there hooked up on another spotted eagle ray. It's been jumping a couple times. And you can find him on uh, Facebook. Just look up, drop them down charters. I'll write it down here. Hooked up. What do we got here? Oh man, he got me in some rocks. Got him out, got him out. Uh, just another little mangrove. He went inside something because he got tight there for a minute. Okay. Since it seems like the tide has turned, I think I'm gonna take it back in shore and hit some docks and try to find some nice, nice sized sheep's head. Well, we're gonna make a few dock stops before uh, we call it a day and uh, see if we can't find a couple more little convicts. All right, hooked up, what we got? Oh, ha, ah. look at that sucker. It's a crazy looking puffer. All those little creepy looking spikes. Man, he is cool. Looks like a Darth Maul. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're just gonna continue to use uh, some uh, fiddlers and some bottom sweepers 
to try to find some sheep's head. And until uh, Lily's Island just uh, appears, the, the tide's going out, so uh, she's, you know, she can't come out here without running, get, getting her run around on our island. But, uh, so we're just gonna keep dropping them and probably wait just a little bit longer, let her go run around and maybe do a little more fishing. Oop, there we go. That didn't take long. Another sheepy little guy he's going back but heck that guy might be legal but i i doubt it uh no, yeah he's he's right at 12 but we're gonna let him go back see if we can make that happen again there we go got a good one here i think uh no i think it's a little guy oh the little, little sheep's head little baby sheep's head Cute little guy, man. When they're when they're small like that, they have their their colors are so bright. Got, got another one. Got another one. Small ones, but hey, we're still catching sheep's head. Bottom sweeper jig doing his job. He might be a keeper too, but oh man. Yeah, that one's 12 and a half. Oh, what the heck was that? Well, like I said, uh, we've been, we've catched quite a few lately. So I'm just looking, trying to get the bigger ones, keep those and see, they eat these, uh, all these uh, little crustaceans that grow on barnacles and stuff that grow on all these docks and seawalls and rocks. And so that's why you find them so close to all these areas is because they eat all this stuff. Oh, there we go again. There we go again. Oh, wait. <laughs> Another Darth Maul. Look at that yellow belly. And then all those spikes. They're just crazy. Here we go. Looked up over here. Oh, this is a nice one. Nice one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, holy crap. That's a big old black Margate. Man, these aren't bad eating either. You know, they do have some pin bones, but you just gotta cut those out and they're they're pretty good. Pretty fish. Not uh really looking for these today, so we'll let this guy go. It's a lucky day. Oh come on. Swim away, buddy. Oh he swam down. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to get him. Got one. Got a nice one. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, yep, another nice little sheepy. Just a little over 14, so yeah, I'm sure if I asked him, she'd say, yeah, keep him. All right, guys, I think on that note, we're gonna take Lily. She always knows when it's island time. Hey, sweet face. Good. Oh, well, these guys get to go free. Get her. Run. All right, guys, thanks for joining the Salty Sharks Fishing Adventure. Um, we really appreciate each and every one of you that watch every week and have subscribed and give those thumbs up all the time. Uh, you guys mean a lot to us and, you know, leaving co positive comments and feedback down in the comments down here below. Uh, you know, we, we enjoy interacting with you guys. I try to read and respond to all of them. Sometimes, you know, I know you guys sometimes don't get notified by YouTube that when our videos come out, even though you hit the notification thing, I'm supposed to get notified when all your comments uh, go down there. but. 
they don't. Uh, I look back at some other videos and I didn't get notified a lot of times. So if I didn't get back to you, it's not because I'm ignoring you. Uh, unless you're being snotty and <laughs> I'm ignoring you. Uh, I, I'm just, if I don't get back to you, it's, it's probably YouTube not notifying me and I didn't see it. But thanks for joining me. We'll uh, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And we'll see you next time, guys. Stay salty.